Join us again for the young and the restless. This is CBS. Nebraska authorities join the hunt for an Oklahoma murder suspect next on New Center 3 Midday. Douglas County authorities, meanwhile, investigate what they call a suspicious death, a body found in West Omaha. We'll have a live report. And Operation Restore Hope could get more dangerous today for U.S. soldiers in Somalia. They're to start taking weapons away from armed gangs. And the weather's kept Tom busy this morning. Yes, it certainly has. We have a freezing drizzle advisory in effect for a good part of the uh, mid-afternoon hours, and that'll be mixed with sleet and, some uh, and a little bit of snow, too, Trina. Tom's weather forecast and all today's news straight ahead on Midday. Presenting an extraordinary holiday sale at Slumberland Furniture. Now through Monday, there's still time to get extra special savings on every recliner in the store. An incredible selection, our best ever. This leather chair and ottoman is unbelievable at just $2.74 in a choice of eight designer colors. Don't miss this gorgeous four-poster bed at just $2.49 or this kid's bunk bed for only $1.77. Fantastic savings on glider rockers and much, much more. You'll see more and save on more than ever before. Now through Monday at Slumberland Furniture. It's time to wrap up your holiday shopping, so wrap it up at half price. Fragrances, satin sleepwear, silver, wrap them up at half price. Watches, leather clutches, Barbie, wrap them up at half price. Gourmet gifts, slippers, dress shirts, wrap them up at half price. Don't wait, hurry in now and save big on a huge selection of name brand gifts. So why pay full price when you can wrap it up at half price? Only one store is legendary for bringing home value. Only Nebraska Furniture Mart can make it a legendary Christmas. This year, enjoy the elegance of time with an exquisite grandfather clock by Howard Miller. On sale for as low as $2.99. All Howard Miller clocks are up to 50% off for the holidays. Choose from Howard Miller grandfather clocks, wall clocks, and beautiful mantel clocks. This year, make it a legendary Christmas. Shop Nebraska Furniture Mart. You're watching Channel 3, KMTV Omaha. At 12 o'clock, this is News Center 3 Midday. Good afternoon. Tom Bavacqua has been busy answering phone calls this morning about the weather. Is it very slick out there, Tom? Uh, Trina, some of the secondary roads are a little bit slick right now. Temperatures are generally in the upper 20s, and that's because of a combination of freezing drizzle, some very, very light snow and snow flurries. And that's going to continue right on into this afternoon and probably into tonight, too. But as we have been mentioning for the last several days, we don't expect any major accumulation. I want to emphasize that, no major accumulation whatsoever. Let's check our satellite, and you can see where most of the snow will be, however. See the yellow area, Trina? That's where it is, up in South Dakota and eventually in Minnesota. So for us maybe between now and tomorrow an inch or so and that's about but it. But rush hour traffic could be a little rush hazardous. Rush hour traffic could be a little bit hazardous, yes, especially on untreated surfaces. Okay, thanks a lot, Tom. Mm -hmm. Tom will have more about the weather later in this newscast. But first, the Douglas County Sheriff is investigating a suspicious death. A body was found in a roadside dish just an hour, a few hours ago in West Omaha. New Center 3's Steve Spreester is with the investigators near 180th and Pacific. Steve? Investigators aren't sure exactly what they have here at 180th between Pacific and L Street. As a matter of fact, they haven't moved the body yet. They're being very careful with this crime scene. As you look over my shoulder, you can see just over the ridge is where the body's located. Now, investigators haven't moved the body yet. They haven't even determined if it's the body of a man or a woman. Now, the Sheriff's Department received the call around 8.15 this morning. Investigators say the body hasn't been here long, but as of yet, they aren't calling this a murder. We really don't know. However, this is a rural area. It's not a place where there's going to be pedestrian traffic or anything like that normally. Uh, and that leads us to be a little bit more suspicious. Uh. Sheriff's deputies are combing the area for clues. Again, investigators haven't moved the body. Apparently, the person is lying on their side or front. So they don't know right now if it's the body of a man or a woman. Trina, we're expecting an update. We're expecting that they'll move the body here very soon. And if that happens within the newscast, we'll give you an update. Okay, thanks very much. Steve Spreester reporting live near 180th and Pacific Streets. Police in Nebraska, meanwhile, are looking for an Oklahoma murder suspect wanted for killing two men. 
The murders happened yesterday on a farm in Oklahoma. Both victims were shot. The suspect uses three names, John Pierce, John Walker, or John Lockwood. He may be traveling with the woman who lives here in Omaha. The couple may be driving a white Buick Electra. He's believed to be armed with a 9mm handgun used in the murder and a shotgun stolen from the farmhouse. If you have any information about this case, call the Douglas County Sheriff's Department. Well, for a second time, mad dads in the city of Omaha are offering money for guns, even toy guns. The gun amnesty program will be held tomorrow. The program has $10,000 to give out, $50 for real weapons, and a dollar for each toy gun. The guns can be turned in at the same locations as the last time. Four Omaha fire stations at 35th and Ames, 102nd and Fort, 108th and Pacific, and 25th and L. The buyback begins tomorrow from noon until 3 p.m. Governor Ben Nelson is writing a letter to President Bush about how upset he is over the way the immigration office treated two South Omaha high school students. Those teenagers were arrested at the school and deported to Mexico six weeks ago. And yesterday, the families of Ambrosio Lopez and Augustin Antonez received a letter telling them their boys won't be home for Christmas. Congressman Peter Hoagland and Governor Nelson say they are outraged by the immigration decision and the whole way the boys have been treated. In international news this midday, in Somalia, U.S. troops are fanning out across some of the more remote areas of that country. U.S. commanders say that their soldiers will begin disarming Somali gunmen as needed. It comes at a time when those gunmen are getting more and more bold. That has the villagers worried that the violence will come back once the Marines have left. And who seem to fade away in the days after the invasion are reappearing in many parts of the country. In fact, U.S. military officials say that the level of violence is increasing and that it is a cause for concern. When the Marines escort a food convoy to a village, which is what they're doing in the countryside around Baidoa, there are no gunmen to be seen. But the villagers say that they're not far and will return as soon as the Marines pull out. U.S. officers in Baidoa say they will disarm any armed vehicles they encounter and confiscate any weapons which are openly displayed. But this is far short of a disarmament policy. And gunmen are reported to be on the rampage in areas where the troops have not yet arrived. The next big military push will be an amphibious landing in the southern part of Kismayu over the weekend. 150 people have been killed there in interclan warfare this past week. Relief officials say that the Marines will see hunger there, which is worse than anything they have yet encountered. Bob Simon, CBS News, Mogadishu. A majority of Americans apparently feel that the U.S. involvement in Somalia is right. A new poll says three out of four Americans support the move, but only 13 percent believe the troops will be finished within three months. About 66 percent of those responding to the NBC News Wall Street Journal survey say they feel comfortable that President-elect Bill Clinton will be able to handle the Somali situation when he takes over in office. And the chance for peace in the Middle East is in jeopardy this noon, where a busload of Palestinians sits outside of Israel. The 400 Palestinians were deported from Israel, suspect to being Muslim fundamentalists. They're between Israel and Lebanese borders, wandering around waiting for diplomacy to open up a checkpoint. In Washington, Israel is defending its position, calling the Palestinians, quoting now, a group of terrorists. President Bush says the U.S. might support a U.N. resolution ordering Israel to let the Palestinians return. And I could tell Tom Bavacqua, let the warm weather return. It's a bit nippy out there, but it's slick on those side streets. On some of the side streets, yes, it is. And Trina, if you think it's nippy today, wait until the weekend because it's going to get downright cold over the weekend. Temperature's probably not getting out of the 20s. Well, of course, I can't wait for that. I know. <laughs> when midday <laughs> continues, Tom's weather forecast. Pete Tulipano is here with how to deal with your children and the greedies during this Christmas mm -hmm. holiday. He's eating and them later, now. <laughs> <laughs> Mel Gibson's 50-year nap. Hot Scott reviews his new movie, Forever Young. That's coming up. You're watching News Center 3 Midday with Trina Creighton and Tom Bavacqua on Channel 3 KMTV. This portion of News Center 3 is brought to you by Eggland's Better Eggs. If cholesterol has you taking things off your diet, here's something you can put back on. Yes, an egg. 
Introducing Eggland's Best. Eggs from specially fed hens. They're fresh and delicious. And in clinical tests as part of a low-fat diet, even 12 Eggland's Best eggs a week cause no increase in serum cholesterol. Eggland's Best. Now you can eat real eggs again. Dodge announces the perfect truck for work or play. Dodge Dakota. Whatever the job, Dakota has an available 180 horsepower Magnum V6. And for after hours, we really dress Dakota up with over $2,500 in options at no extra charge. Like air, power steering, stereo cassette, and more. Add $500 cash back in your total savings for over $3,000. See your nearest Dodge dealer for the perfect work or play pickup. Dodge Dakota. Public notice. Carpet inventory sacrifice. Kelly's Carpet has just received a special shipment of DuPont Stain Master Carpet. Buy this week and you won't pay one dime in interest for six full months. There's more. You won't have any payment due of any kind for six months either. This special shipment is being sacrificed at $5.49 a yard for DuPont Stain Master Carpet. And 24-hour installation is guaranteed. Kelly's Carpet. Why on earth would you buy carpet anyplace else? Tom's weathercasting experience has earned him the American Meteorological Society's seal of approval. Stay tuned for his forecast. Presenting the Smart Clapper. How smart can it be? Clap twice to turn one appliance on or off. Three times for another. It knows the difference. Plug two appliances into the Smart Clapper, then plug it into any outlet. Switch to Away for added security. It turns TV or lights on at the first sound it hears. Clap on! The Smart Clapper. The Smart Clapper is available at Walgreens, Pomada, Osco Drug, and Kmart. Makes a great gift. What stretches, flattens, attacks the edge, takes the floor, devours dirt, carries your tools, and travels light. Hoover Uprights. Right now, the Encore Upright with attachments is priced at just $79.95. Uh, Tom Bavacqua has been uh, receiving a few phone calls from people who are planning to travel outside of the Omaha area. And will it be rough? And uh, well, it could be rough in some spots. Uh, there is a freezing drizzle advisory all the way west to Columbus and south to Lincoln, too. In fact, right now in the Lincoln area, they're getting freezing rain, which will eventually change over to either light snow or flurries. Peter, you just came in. Is it slippery outside? A little slippery. There you have it. Right off, right from the horse's mouth, huh? <laughs> he loves talking to people off camera. All right, let's take a look at what's out there. Let's look at our regional radar right now. And you can see, as we mentioned just a little bit ago, most of the precipitation is well to the north of us over portions of South Dakota as well as northwestern Iowa and extreme southern Minnesota. Let's take a look at the numbers now a little bit after the hour. Officially, the temperature reading right here in town is cold. It's 29 degrees. It's 30 in Lincoln. Humidity 88%, falling barometer. The winds are southeast at 9 miles an hour. Right now at Epley, we have a temperature reading of 31 degrees, 30 at Des Moines, 27 Fall City, and 25 degrees up in the Minneapolis area, and 30 over at Dodge City. Some clearing now taking place over portions of Kansas and uh, central Missouri, but for us, <laughs> what's new? We're locked into these clouds. They're going to be around for the next couple of days. High pressure located to the east of us will not be helping us out. We do have this upper level disturbance, and then eventually this cold front will be moving toward the south. Freezing drizzle advisory, as already indicated, in effect for a good chunk of eastern Nebraska and unofficially over portions of western Iowa, too. Our jet stream coming up for the next couple of days for tomorrow will be showing that storm system over the southwest that is eventually just gonna go, going to kind of fizzle out on us, as we mentioned over the last couple of days. But it will be cold as cold air is drawn south out of Canada. Here's our forecast, then, for this afternoon. That freezing drizzle advisory is in effect. We are calling for areas of freezing drizzle and very light snow, highs 28 to 33. We'll have southeast winds 10 to 15. Coming up for tonight, chance of light snow or flurries. There could be some minor accumulations. Lows 18 to 22 coming up for tomorrow. Not really a bad day, maybe some morning flurries and then partly cloudy and cold. High temperatures generally 25 to about 32 well south of here. And our five-day forecast shows that we have another chance of rain or snow Tuesday and Wednesday, and that could be our white Christmas, if it materializes. Oh, okay. Well, I love snow at Christmas time. We should make a note here that Lori from Lonely Tales won't be here today, but she will be back next Friday. Okay. 
Thanks a lot, Tom. Let's mm -hmm. take a look at Omaha markets now. And we have corn at 198 down two cents. We have beans at 547 down two cents. Hogs 1,200, 50 cents to 75 cents lower. One to threes, 230 to 260 pounds, 41.75 to 42. Two to threes, 260 to 290 pounds, 38.75 to 41.75. Sell steady, 50 cents higher, 31.50 to 32.50. Chia. Chia Herb Garden comes with everything you need to grow six different herbs indoors. Seeds, pots and saucers, plant food, instruction booklet, even Chia Growing Mix. A great gift for anyone. Just plant your herb seeds, water, add plant food, then put them in a sunny spot and... Ch -ch -ch Chia makes cooking fun and tasty. Ch -ch -ch Chia. Chia Herb Garden. Chia Herb Garden is available at Walgreens, Hy-Vee, Pomite and Kmart. Makes a great gift. Shop Walgreens for Christmas savings. If she likes Eternity or Chanel, give her impressions. If he likes Dracar or Polo, give him impressions. Fragrance impressions limited from Walgreens. Choose from designer quality fragrances without the designer prices. Fragrance impressions now just $9.99. Walgreens has fragrance impressions perfume too, just $19.95. Walgreens, filling your Christmas wishes. Relax and imagine with collectible treasures to give and receive. Capture the magic of the season with collectible treasures from David's Briar Shop. Westros, when you gotta shop. They're coming for all the festivities, and that means decorations for the holidays and for your home. Floral designs, plants, and trees from Silk Traditions will give your home the extra excitement. Our Silk Christmas trees are forever lasting and are chosen for their beautiful realism. Silk poinsettias and centerpieces are always cherished as housewarming gifts by families and friends. Floral designs, plants, and trees custom made to fit your style from Silk Traditions in the Bel Air Plaza. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! I'm Santa Buff for Rod the Crusher Cush Furniture Owned Consignment, and it's a cash-free Christmas. That's right, cash-free. With approved credit, no money down, no interest, no payments, nothing, to June of 1993. And you'll save up to 40, 50 cents more. So hurry to Rod the Crusher Cush Furniture Owned Consignment, located 72nd in Omaha. Don't miss the cash free Christmas. Thank you. The Bellevue Christian Center's Music Department presents How Great a Love tomorrow at 7 p.m. Call 291-0616 for more information. The Presbyterian Church of the Cross is hosting Christmas Old Christmas New this Sunday at 9.30 and 11 a.m. Call 333-7466 for more information. St. Anthony Shelter invites you to a benefit breakfast at 8602 Maple Street this Sunday from 8 to 11 a.m. Call 457-6436 for more information. The Urban League Learning Resource is hosting Pictures with Santa today and tomorrow from 5 to 9 p.m. Call 451-0484 for locations and times. To promote your nonprofit activity, send information two weeks in advance to KM3 Family Works Calendar, 10714 Mockingbird Drive, Omaha, Nebraska, 68127. New Center 3 Midday continues now with information to make your family work. Pete Tulipana is here to help us deal with our youngsters during this time of year. And the topic today is how to deal with the gimme gimme's, the greed. First of all, Sometimes the parent, it's hard to determine what constitutes greediness, Peter. I think a good definition is if what the child wants goes way beyond what the family is really capable of providing. Children know basically what the family is capable of providing. So we consider it really greed if they're going, if their expectations go way beyond what the family's means are able to provide. Give us an example. Well, if you are able, if you, if your child asks for a thousand uh, dollars stereo when your budget for the uh, year is for Christmas is a hundred dollars, then and he knows that he knows that's out of the 
out of the po out of the ballpark. Isn't a little greed normal, though? Absolutely. Because <laughs> I remember being greedy, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. As a matter of fact, up to age five, children want everything they see. <laughs> you know, every toy in the wish book, uh, the catalog, or on TV, they want it. And that's perfectly normal. And I think we need to rest assured that that's normal until they're age five. From eight to ten, then, children uh, are at this collecting stage. Remember, uh, you always have something that you collect at that age. And what they want is they want as much as their friend Joe down the street has. Oh, exactly. You know, My friend has a thousand baseball cards, and I want to have a thousand or a thousand and one. I went through that with G.I. Joe and then Barbie. Right, <laughs> right. And that's perfectly normal, too. And uh, we need to expect that children are going to be comparing at that age. Once they get beyond 10 and they get to 11, 12, and teenage years, then uh, we should expect to see a different kind of behavior. And if we don't see a different kind of behavior at that point in time, then we want to start being, uh, not being concerned, but at least uh, helping them to understand a little bit better what uh, the family's capable of. Now, you said a different kind of behavior. Do mm -hmm. you mean oh, mom, I only want three things, or more realistic behavior? More realistic in terms of uh, what they ask for in relation to what you know and the family knows that they can provide, and not necessarily comparing it to what uh, Steve down the street has or, how, or what uh, their little friend next door has, but based on what the family's capable of providing. Okay, let's say that you have a youngster who doesn't know that they should be at this stage in their life mm -hmm. and they have the greedies and they ask for just so much stuff and you feel badly as a parent because you you can't supply it how do you get your youngster to understand that how do you counteract the greedies well the first step and the most important step is relates to what you just said and that says don't feel badly okay uh, that's the first step because we easier as said than done. right easier said than done but confront that feeling and say okay now we're what we are providing is realistic in relation and it's generous in relation to what we're capable of providing and that's what we're going to do and we're going to feel okay with that could you say i have x amount of dollars to spend for you pete and that's so whatever you get has to stay within that bound or is that not good